Whether it's because you just ran a marathon or you've picked up the weights after a few months away from the gym, you know that feeling the next day. Yeah, sometimes you can barely lift your arms or it hurts just to walk. So why do our muscles get sore? Good question. Here's Heather Brown. How far are you going today? Probably a couple miles. I'm on cross country. Are you going to be sore tomorrow? Definitely. You know sore muscles. Yes. <laughs> Did we used to think it was just lactic acid? Yes, so for a long time there was this belief that lactate or lactic acid caused soreness. Paul Mellick teaches exercise physiology at St. Thomas. Lactic acid actually peaks about right after exercise. Let's get physical, physical. And by two hours later, it's back to normal. So if lactic acid caused soreness, you should be the most sore after exercise, but two hours later you should be fine, which is not the case at all. They throb, a little tingly. They hurt. They hurt. When you exercise, what happens in your muscles? You get microscopic tears that take place uh, at the level of the cell itself. And all of a sudden, they just, it's like, whoa, what happened? What are you doing to me? You actually damage those structural proteins so that the muscle can rebuild itself. You hurt them, <laughs> and now they're sad. But what's making it hurt? The pain comes from those tears. So your body responds to it just like it would to any other injury. So there's an inflammatory process. There are a few other processes taking place within the cell. The next morning, you know, when I wake up, that's when you're like, uh, uh. Oh, why did I yeah. do that? Yeah. Why does it hurt a day or two days later? The, sh the, <laughs> the short answer is it just takes that long for the, the process to kind of to go that route. Jog it out in four! Is there anything you can do to prevent the pain? Prevent? I would say no. Water? Yeah. I've heard that curry works pretty well. <laughs> no. I, I'm not familiar with the water. <laughs> I've heard like bananas. There's not a lot you can do. You kind of got to wait your 48 hours, go for a walk, do some icing. That could help out too. And ibuprofen. Ibuprofen seems to relieve that inflammation. Now here's a good rule of thumb, our expert says, to distinguish between soreness and injury. Now if both arms hurt, it's probably soreness. If just one arm hurts, likely injury. Now, if the muscle hurts, probably soreness. But if the joints hurt, there's a good chance you have an injury. Yeah, good to know. Yeah, I didn't know that. It was a nice little rule of thumb. Doesn't work all the time, but it helps when you're really, really hurting. I'm rubbing myself with bananas and curry. You got yeah. it. <laughs> I've never heard of the curry one before. No, I, yeah. it didn't work for him either. Oh, all right. Uh, maybe not then. All right, mm -hmm. thanks, Heather. Thanks, Heather. Mm -hmm. If you have a good question, you can email it by going to wcco.com slash links.